Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. Hampton Rum. This one's a sherry casker. Hampton. Woo. Hampton. 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 I love it. I love it. This means it's a rum with a sherry finish. You should love it. We're going to test it. Jamaican rum style. Jamaican me crazy still style. <laughs> All right. All right, I got to see point, alligators. I, I got to point out oh, your my, little deal there. What well, my little deal? It, it, sure. People that are watching saw my facial expressions. I said, "Hey, we got Hampton rum here. It's a sherry cask, bump something." And you go, "That means it's a rum style." And I'm like, "Hmm." Oh, I didn't know I even said rum style. <laughs> it's a rum. Pog, I see it's got Pogos. T a g o s. Yeah. One hundred percent ex sherry cask. This so I'm not even drunk. Can I say stupid shit? <laughs> Uh, Dustin from r and manager down at uh, r and Discount Liquor. That's, that's kind of a neat label. That's what I'm saying. Um, Same thing on here. Dustin had come over. I had some whiskey buddies over. Dustin came over. He brought the um, like the distillery release for 2023 over. Right. We, we reviewed that last week. Go watch that one. Sure. When I was down at r and Discount Liquor here in Wichita, they had this one on the shelves, uh, the Sherry Cask one. So I said, well, let's pick that one up. We'll try it right after it. And, Fully and matured in the tropics, the High Esters Art. High Esters? That's what Easter it says. Elkies. Yeah. Avant-garde in aging. Wild fermentation. Only pot still. Spring water. Natural color. Love the natural color, uh, just like my shirt. I like the two alligators on. I hadn't looked at it, but Pagos must be the release, the name of the release. P A G O S. Okay. And then the the sherry cast, the two alligators. There's a lot of information on the on the label yeah. here. We'll so you're saying it's a rum style? Throw a picture in this <laughs> rum style. Fifty two percent ABV. This Ooh. one's still seven fifty as well. I love it. Now I wonder if if rums in Jamaica will start to abide by the seven hundred. Milliliter. Hopefully, rule. not. That one's got a nice nose too, boy. Hopefully, the, they're rebels in Jamaica. The distillery edition had a nice nose on it. Ooh, a synthetic yeah. cork. But see again. Oh, that's good. Won't, won't crack on it. Now, see, I get a little bit more of those rum notes that I'm used to. Yeah. SMWS had a, had a. Oh shoot! What was it? Was it? I almost said Barbados, but I don't think it was Barbados. Oh, well, we've had a Barbados. You've had a Barbados. Maybe I did then. So, huh? Mm, huh? Similar. It's it's earthy. It's rich. Yes. I'll bet you the sweetness is going to be the sherry cask on this one. I wonder if the distillate, the rum, is very close to the the distillery edition, and then sherry matured. Uh, almost a little bit of a, a tequila nose. It's so it's so earthy. Hmm. Really? Because I'm, I'm with you. The the agaves, I will get those those like vegetable earth notes. Yeah. Yeah. Now just hit me with this one because we've done the uh, the tears of Lorona, which is the the sherry cast tequila, and then the other Hamden we had kind of had that earthier dunnage type nose. Yeah, it does have an earthy funky. Note to it. Yeah. Still here on the nose. What'd you think on your sip? Uh, not. A, I, I kept thinking I need to take it again. That I didn't get enough. I got just a little spritz on the on the the sip. So it wasn't as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Right. Mm -mm. Sure. Mm. Again, very unique, very distinct, very different. This is uh, this is yeah. This is the other rum, that earthy Dunnage funky yeah. rum, and it's got a, a sweeter. Um, sweetness here, more kind of caramels, and but you're right, it's got a funky dunnage tied yeah. in with it. Mm -hmm. That's probably the distillate, the, the actual the the rum, the barrel character. I feel like I'm getting a dusty wood in the finish. It's nice though, with it, it still has that sweet kind of 
sugar cane rum mm -hmm. earthy flavor lingering around with it as well. Mm. Delicious. Again, so unique. Now, I've never yep. even heard of this. No. So, Dustin, how long has this been around? I mean, this has to have been he, around for a long time. Well, he knew it well and spoke highly of it, even the distillery you yeah. know, edition that he brought over. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. We did have our camera shut down on us. Right. So We had gone through, we had looked at, we didn't score this one yet, the nope. sherry cask. Let's score it. Okay. Well, let's wait because we changed. Yeah. <laughs> Once we got back we, the distiller's edition, mm -hmm. it changed us up a little bit. <laughs> and I know it's sad that you missed that, but we're going to recreate it now. So you brought this over. Mm -hmm. You pulled this one. See, yeah, we're backing up. You pulled this over. We're going to try it fresh and, and tell you what is in here. I can already tell you it's spicier. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, we were looking at the sherry cast. We said, let's, we went through, we scored it. We pulled out the distillery edition, compared them side by side. Differences, Whoop. similar different, similar dif differences, but not some similar differences. So the nice thing in having it in comparison, I immediately picked up, this is in, including some kind of kitchen spice. I joked yeah. around that I can't call it cumin or anything, but it is a, it is a spicier, punchier, Wrong. Uh, pepper. Pe a pepper spice yes. stands out to me now. Very Spicy, nice. peppery on the distiller's edition rum. Now, the funny thing what? is we immediately bumped our scores on this one, which happened last week. Yeah. So you were, I was at 88 and went to 89. You were, well, you were 80 last week. Yes. You were 88. I was 90. Right. I, I went like to 89. I wasn't for sure really yes. on the rum scale. Where does this lie? Right. You didn't think it was worth $120. Yeah. Um... So this one gets bumped. bumped. I'm going to a 92 now yeah. on this one. I just went to an 89. And a 90, maybe a 91 on the sherry cask. And I'm probably still in an 88 on this. Okay. It's good. Yeah. But it made this seem even better. Right. So I was amazed at how, and you said this is how much? 70? $70 for the sherry cask. This cast, is Hampton. 120. And here's an odd one for me because you guys know I'm tight. The 120 is unbelievably good. <laughs> yeah. If I was going to get one, I'd get the 120. You were like, yeah. You yeah. actually went, yeah. I'll get yeah, it. Well, yeah, I'd go with that. It's worth yeah, it. there was yeah. no bitching or complaining. I was like, 120. <laughs> <laughs> that is, but, in comparison, very good. I think blind, though, an experienced person, maybe me even, just with whiskey knowledge, Blind, I would be able to say those are both Hamptons. Wow. Because there's there's kind of that distill distillery character. You're good on that. in there. Yeah. You have a very long lasting precise memory. My memory is like last week. I'd be like, I don't know, but it's good. Broken clock is right twice a day. And we just fudge. Hold on. Just gonna restart again. Yes. All right. Another technical glitch. Hopefully we're through those. <laughs> We've scored it. We both like it. Well, uh, we were talking about the distillery character in both of these and how similar they are. He could pick this up probably blind. I believe he could. Me? I, I don't think... I think I'd get confused and think this was some kind of very old scotch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. you would pick it up. I get some dunnage in here still. Mm -hmm. I mean, that sweetness is in there. But I do all these quick hitters. I think if this was served up as a quick hitter, I would be befuddled. Yeah. Anyway. Well, yeah. well, you're like, yeah, befuddled. <laughs> like Elmer Fudd. Elmer befuddled. All right. Let's wrap it up. Uh, go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up barrel caps, coins, glasses, hats, shirts, all kinds of stuff. It helps support the show. It keeps the lights on. keeps the whiskey coming. So this is great. But you can also... You can also go to Patreon and look up Scotch Test Dummies. Also great. And you can do a dollar a show. You could do a thousand a show. We call that the Elon Musk level. That's right. That's Cybertruck level. That's right. We'd get a Cybertruck and we'd go on a caravan, baby. Scotch it. <laughs> yeah, he said, uh-uh. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies. I like the uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm.